No one ever thinks a marriage will fall apart like this. One moment you're living a happy life, and the next you feel like your entire world has collapsed. People assume that happiness will last forever, but the truth is, a secret, a lie, can destroy everything. A single surprise visit revealed the darkest secrets of my life when I discovered the huge secret my beloved wife had been hiding from me. The shockwave shook the foundations of our marriage and left me facing the hardest decision of my life. Before I dive into my story, if you don't want your life to be turned upside down like mine, subscribe to my channel to learn real lessons from the real stories we share every day, just like mine. Also, share your thoughts about the shocking truths I've experienced in the comments, and please show your support by liking my video. Now that you've subscribed, let's dive into my story. It all started while I was driving home from work with Jim. It was a regular day. We needed to stop by the pharmacy to pick up Jim's prescription. As we passed by the pharmacy where Rachel worked, I spontaneously decided to surprise her. I had been thinking about this moment for a long time, but Rachel never liked being visited at work. She would always say, I want to feel comfortable at work, John. But that day was different, something inside me wanted to see her. The coldness between us was bothering me, and I thought this small gesture might help smooth things over a little. We entered the pharmacy, but Rachel wasn't there. While Jim went to the counter to get his prescription, I decided to step outside instead of waiting. However, as I was heading toward the door, my eyes were drawn to a photo hanging on the wall. That photo, that little girl. She looked so much like Sandy, blonde hair, blue eyes, they were so similar that it felt like I was looking at Sandy in the future. A sense of unease rose inside me, my heart tightened. Who is that girl? I quietly murmured to myself. I paused in front of the photo, my eyes locked on the child. Could there be that much resemblance? My mind started to swirl with contradictions. I immediately turned back to the counter, approached the pharmacist, and asked, Excuse me, who is the little girl in the photo on the wall? The pharmacist hesitated for a moment, then lowered his head and replied, That's Mr. Clarkson's daughter, Katie. Isn't she a sweet child? Clarkson, one of Rachel's colleagues. I didn't know much about him, I had heard his name a few times, but I never thought much of it. Now, the resemblance between Sandy and Katie. I had a feeling something was very wrong. When we got home, I looked at Rachel's face, and the suspicion inside me grew stronger with every passing minute. That night, Rachel took her usual shower, but I knew now that those showers weren't just to wash away the day's fatigue. She was washing away the traces of the time she had spent with someone else. The truth that had been right in front of my eyes for years, I had failed to see. Now, it was all becoming clear. She was hiding something. A battle began in my mind, was Sandy really my daughter? Was there a relationship between Rachel and Mr. Clarkson? As these suspicions ate away at my mind, I tried to stay calm. I couldn't accuse her without knowing the truth, but that awful doubt consumed me more with every passing minute. The next morning, while Rachel was at work, I borrowed Jim's truck and decided to follow her. I needed answers. As I followed her, a storm raged inside me. My heart was pounding. For a moment, I felt afraid of learning the truth, but I preferred to face the painful reality rather than live with doubt. And then the moment came. Rachel walked up to a black SUV. Beside her was a well-dressed, middle-aged man. My heart sank, and I struggled to breathe. That man was Clarkson, Katie's father. I couldn't believe my eyes as I watched everything unfold. The anger and disappointment inside me grew. Rachel had been lying to me for years. Sandy wasn't my biological daughter, she was Clarkson's. When Rachel stood in front of me that evening, the storm inside me still hadn't calmed. I wanted to confront her, but I knew I had to keep my composure. She couldn't know that I was suspicious. She noticed something in my eyes, looked at me with concern, and asked, Is something wrong, John? The tension on her face told me everything. Despite my rage, I calmly said, No, nothing. It was just a long day. But inside, I felt like everything had crumbled. For days, I didn't let Rachel suspect anything. 
I watched her every move, analyzed every glance. One evening, while Rachel was in the shower, I decided to confront her with everything I knew. My heart was racing, but I couldn't bear to keep up the charade any longer. When the door opened, I asked in a steady voice, is Sandy really my daughter? Rachel's face froze in an instant. I saw the panic in her eyes. Her silence told me everything. She tried to say something, but her voice trembled. John, what are you talking about? Of course, Sandy is your daughter. But the fear in her eyes gave it all away. I knew the truth now. As if Rachel's lies weren't enough, Clarkson had a part in this betrayal too. The growing anger inside me was unbearable. But this time, I wasn't just after revenge. I wasn't going to let them take Sandy from me. I started making my plan. I was going to let Rachel run off with Clarkson, but I was going to keep Sandy. I would even let them flee together, as long as Sandy stayed with me. That night, I made my decision. I would let Rachel run away with Clarkson, but they wouldn't take Sandy from me. However, things didn't go as planned. One night, Rachel didn't come home. She was trying to run away with Clarkson. But when the police came to my door the next morning, I realized things had spiraled out of control. The police officer, with a cold expression, said, Mr. Clarkson and your wife, Rachel, were in an accident. Unfortunately, both of them died at the scene. We found signs of sabotage in the car's fuel tank. Sabotage, that word echoed in my mind. At that moment, I understood the truth. Things had become much more complicated. I was facing an outcome I hadn't planned for, and now I had to live with the consequences. But that wasn't the end of it. After the explosion, a DNA test revealed something even more shocking. Sandy was neither my daughter nor Clarkson's. Rachel had been with another man before Clarkson, and that was when she became pregnant. For all those years, I had been raising someone else's child. Learning this painful truth hurt more than anything else. I will never forget that moment when I held the DNA result in my hand. It felt like my world was collapsing. The moment I found out Sandy wasn't mine, something inside me broke. It was as if my entire life had been built on a lie. At first, I didn't know what to do. For a while, I tried to understand what I felt when I looked at Sandy. Every time I saw her, the anger inside me flared up. I kept telling myself, she isn't my child. I've been raising another man's daughter all this time. But no matter how angry I was, my love for Sandy never faded. She was my daughter, I had raised her. But on the other hand, there was an emptiness growing inside me. The pain of Rachel's betrayal nodded me more with each passing day. I didn't know what to do. Every time I looked at Sandy, I remembered Rachel's lies. Knowing that woman had deceived me drove me insane. But how could I go on with Sandy? A voice inside me kept saying, it's over. Everything is over. One morning, as Sandy quietly played with her toys in her room, I stood in the doorway and watched her. A small, innocent child. She had known me as her father, trusted me in every moment. I remembered all the times she had looked to me for guidance. In that moment, I felt the conflict inside me even more clearly. A voice inside told me to be cold toward her, after all, she isn't your daughter, that voice said. But another voice countered, she is your daughter. You've been her father all these years. When Sandy looked up at me with those innocent eyes, I knew I had to make a decision. Either I would let the pain of the past take over and lose her, or I would leave the betrayal behind and continue to love her. No matter how deep the betrayal, Sandy was innocent in all of this. She was blameless. I slowly entered her room, approached Sandy, and sat down beside her. Tears welled up in my eyes as I looked at her. She had no idea what was going on. Her whole world had been me, and I couldn't shatter that truth for her. I love you so much, Sandy, I said, my voice trembling. She wrapped her little arms around me as if this was the only truth that mattered. At that moment, I understood, no matter what, Sandy was my daughter. It wasn't blood that connected us, but love. 
From that moment on, I made the decision to rebuild my life. Rachel's betrayal had torn everything apart, but I couldn't let it take Sandy away from me. I had raised her, cared for her, and been her father in every sense that mattered. Sandy would never know the truth about her biological father. That was a secret I would carry with me to my grave. To her, I was her real father, nothing would ever change that. Sandy grew up without ever learning the truth. Together, we rebuilt our lives. I continued to be her father, and she continued to love and trust me. Blood doesn't define a family, love and commitment do. And for Sandy, I would always be her true father, the one who stood by her no matter what. I raised her, loved her, and protected her as my own. We created a new life together, built on love, trust, and the truth that mattered most, that I was her father in every way that counted.